Today I want to talk about the difference between a utility tractor and a mini excavator. And a lot of people are less intimidated by a utility tractor than they are by a mini excavator. But today I want to tell you why the mini excavator is actually a lot easier to use than a tractor. And the whole reason it's easier to use is because of the simplicity of it. Basically you have a left joystick a right joystick, and that controls your boom and your bucket. Then you have this foot lever, and all that does is make the boom go this way or this way. Okay, that's it. And then you've got your handles forward and backwards. And the last lever that you will be using all the time is this one. And all this lever is doing is making that blade go up and down. So it's a very one-dimensional type product. You don't have all types of things going on with a mini excavator. It's very straightforward, very easy to use, and you can figure it out really quickly. Now, with the tractor. Now, don't get me wrong, I love this tractor. It's a tool I use all the time. But the thing that makes this tractor confusing is just all the versatility that it has. So with versatility, you get complexity. So here we've got our parking brake. Here we have our forward and reverse, and that's also our throttle. This is our uh, cruise control. We've got a rear PTO, power takeoff. We have a mid PTO. We have a uh, three-point hitch speed. Then we have a three-point hitch up and down. And then we have a three-point hitch angle. Here we have our different speed ranges from low, medium, neutral, high. We have four-wheel drive, two-wheel drive. Then we have this lever, which will make four-wheel drive into posi, which again, very useful function when you need it. And you've got your hand control. Your hand control is making the bucket go up and down and curling one way or the other. You have the float function, and then you also have this third function, which is useful if you are running the grapple, which again, I love the grapple, I use it all the time. So up, down, float, let, curl, reverse curl, and uh, up and down with the grapple. And back here, you have more things. You've got your controls for your boom, in, out, up, down, curl, left, right, and then you have your outriggers, okay? So you got to put your outriggers out. You've got all these different controls. Back here, again, these are all controlled by uh, those levers, but there's your, your PTO, right? And then here's your three-point hitch. It's a little hard to see because there's a lot back here. So the reason this one is uh, difficult to use isn't that it's a tough machine or it's not well thought out. It's just that there's so many things that you can do with it. There's so many different attachments you can put on it, so many different variations that this tractor can be set up in. And because there's so many variations, because of all that great flexibility, you're going to have a lot of, well, complexity. Okay, like what are these hydraulic uh, hoses for? What are those for? What happens when I hook that up and disconnect that one and hook up this one and this one? So there's just a lot going on. We've got a hose coming from the back all the way to the front, but if I take this off, I gotta take this and hook it into this, you see? So depending on the configuration, everything changes. And because everything changes and you've got all these options, you have confusion. So if you own it, great, you'll have it all figured out. You'll get to know how to use all these different things. But when you're renting it, you really got to pay attention when we're giving you the instructions and watch the videos also so you know what function does what. If you want to just go out and do digging, if you're doing uh, trenching, if you're doing gardening, if you're doing rock moving or stump removal, and you really just need to use the backhoe on this tractor, well, then I would recommend you're probably better off using a mini excavator. And again, the biggest reason for that is lack of flexibility, which optimizes the simplicity of your operation. Okay, it's just gonna be a lot easier to use. And also, if you think about it, when you are using a tractor and a backhoe, 
you have to put the outriggers out and then you have to utilize it. And then when you're done with that particular position, you got to get out of that seat, get back into that seat. Of course, you have to lift your outriggers up and then you have to reposition it. When you are in a mini excavator, you simply lower your blade for stability. You utilize your controls, dig what you have to dig, lift your blade up and then move. You don't have to get in and out, in and out, in and out. So depending on what you're doing, this can be the ultimate tool for you. Now, like I said, I love the tractor, so don't get me wrong. I absolutely love this tractor. You've got the bucket, uh, you've got quick release, quick attach. So I can go from this bucket just simply by pulling this lever and I can switch over to the grapple. Of course, I have to plug in here and I have to know that. I have to know that those hoses go in here. But anyhow, two levers, two hoses, boom, boom. I go from the bucket from hauling dirt or gravel to the grapple. And if I'm digging out bushes, this is a great tool for that because I can take the backhoe, dig out the bush, set it to the side, turn around, use my grapple, come back, grab it, and go throw it up on the burn pile. Very effective for that. So there's pros and cons to everything, but don't be intimidated by a mini excavator. It's actually a simpler device to use than it is to use one of these tractors.